Hello everyone, I am back. Alright, so let's go back into our quest. So, besides that, on the last episode, we encountered, um, Yuga. He is one of the main villains from the whole series. But besides we go, before we go over there, we actually are going to go off south. Because we need to head off to the Eastern Palace. And reason for that is because we're going to get an item upgrade that we need that will help us a lot. And I kid you not, a lot. This item upgrade is the pouch that uh, Gilly was going to give us before he got kidnapped. Oh, never mind. Goalie's still here. My bad. Goalie's still there. This item I okay, will not get any get until I beat the Eastern Palace first. Uh, besides that, we need to go and warn that one guy that. Oh, we get introduced to this little witch girl. Her name is Irene. I kid you not, her name's Irene. It's almost like There you go, there's my there's my two hit damage. Uh besides that. Uh she will help us later in the game. Oh wait. Oh that's right, I forgot to mention. If you don't have full hearts you won't get rupees, so I'll give you a little info on that. Um basically because since we already have full hearts, we don't necessarily need more hearts they, the game says uh, get rupees so we get rupees besides that we noticed that we need arrows for this so we go check out that there's two signs right there we go and it's apparently Barbie he's like oh there's a house in front of the castle my house is only the only house there and so you think and you think correctly um, apparently Ravio is going to be staying at our place, like I said before. He is going to lend us an item that we need for this adventure. Besides that, we need to collect as many rupees as we can because one of the missions involves us uh, spending at least 3,000 rupees. And I hope I don't have to run out of cash. So, besides that, let's go on it. And welcome home, Mr. Hero. And then we explained it that we saw one of his signs up. And he said, um, Ravi was like, oh, well, I was going to open the stair near the palace, but I saw the monsters. <laughs> there you go, that's why Ravi was over here. And actually, I feel that's kind of like a little lie because I don't believe him at all. He says that. He's gonna ask us what symbol it was, and it's clearly the arrow, so we click on the arrows. I never clicked on whatever the other item was because I wasn't so sure what might happen. Besides that, we got the bow. Besides that, well, he's gonna lend this for us for free, but after this, if we die, we have to give him 10 rupees. And if we don't give him 10 rupees, well, I guess you don't have rupees. <laughs> that bottom meter is basically the Ravio meter. So, if it runs out, you can't use the item until it replenishes. Basically, it's like the magic power, except in this game, you don't have to, um, you don't have to get the magic power in this game. There's no magic at all. Because you guys saw the lamp, uh, we got the first item with the lamp, and we didn't have a meter, and we didn't get any, um, magic. Like I said before, I'm going to be saving constantly. Reason because, well, you guys know, <laughs> you don't want to die in hard mode. If you die, at least you'll get be sent back to your last save. And in case if I get frustrated and I say, you know what? Screw this game, I'm not gonna play it. Because I'm too frustrated of dying, then there you go. <laughs> it's my last save. Please like that. Let's go on. I'm gonna go ahead and open my items. And we get the rented bow. And that was close. I'm not sure how much project um Dr. Rock's projectile hits will give us. But besides that, let's move on. And down there, that's what you may think you need to go, but that's not the way to go. That is uh, an extra mission whenever you have the special ability that you need to have later in the game. Besides that, we are introduced to... I don't remember what their names were. 
it's been quite a while since I played Zelda. The last game I played was Ocarina of Time 3D, and that was a long time ago. If you guys want to, um, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below, uh, saying if you guys want me to do the Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time LP, I'll be honored to do it for you guys if you request it. But besides that, we're going to reach the palace. I can't believe it's barely been five minutes into the video and we've done so much. And he says that. We're telling this guy, oh, you're going to get hurt. And he's like, whatever. I got this nice little item here. See, like, I don't get it. You got a sand rod. <laughs> but as you guys see, it has no bunny ears. That means it's actually Ravio, so it's not literally his. So, besides that, let's move on. We actually, <laughs> before we move on, let's click on the little birdie here. Yes, I would like to save. Because we are actually going in to the first actual dungeon in the game. Besides that, let's go ahead and move in to the first dungeon. You guys may notice, well then, this seems like a lot like Link to the Past because it is. It's the first dungeon. What do you expect? This game is heavily based off Link to the Past because its world is heavily based on Link to the Past because it's the sequel. Like I said 10 times already. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get our first item. That's the only way you can obtain it by shooting the arrow across. And it's 20 rupees. Like I said, you need a lot of rupees for this game because you're going to be renting items, and renting items is a necessary item, necessary skill thing. I don't know how to say it. Besides that, you guys may remember this is just like a link between a link to the past because you got the little rolling rock besides that there are a little modifications this was not available for you right away and uh that was close these give you two hits as well besides that we managed and a little secret for you guys if you guys weren't able to see it there's a little secret passage down here which is leads us down here and here we also have a treasure chest and uh there are a few items that there's a brand new item that's gonna um change the whole gameplay because uh the witch is back well i'm not sure if the witch was already there in the original game but she was back before and i think this is the no, yeah, it's a compass, so basically it's just going to show me where all the items are. But before I get on, uh, the item I'm talking about is... Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. There's these few monster items. Um, you only can, uh, can obtain them by killing monsters, and you can get monster guts. You need to collect these items to make potions at the witch's shop. Arrow here, arrow there and treasure chest our first key there we go besides that this is not too part of a dungeon as long as you know what you're doing so like i said i'm already doing this as a playthrough a walkthrough so you guys know oh no i forgot to go down i'm gonna go back down oh before i do that uh i didn't manage to do it i want to do a little spin attack for all of these but apparently I couldn't manage to do it. Die. Besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little break here because, well, I've reached my phone limit. So besides that, give me just a second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So, anyways, let's go back downstairs because, like I said, I want to show you guys a little secret. Let's go back into this room and. You gotta wait for this platform to go all the way down, and boom, fairies, and some roots. Since we don't have a bottle, we cannot carry any fairies in the bottle right now, so we gotta be really careful whenever we get to the boss. Say that, we got rupees, and rupees, and rupees, and rupees. I think this is heavily based on the, 
Mario Bros. 2 because you get every line. Rupee says you're only reliance. I don't know why you picked it up. I meant to press the attack button. Uh, see, like, you get have full health to get root, you get money. That's good. As long as you're healthy, you get money. The money is no. Anymore? No? Okay. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Okay. Let's go. Church chest. Okay, quickly. Quickly. Oh my god. Uh, damn it. I flinched there. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first death. I'm sorry if I moved the DS right there. I actually kind of flinched because I actually got scared. <laughs> we gotta go to our house because we gotta rent the bow and arrow again. So, sadly, you're gonna have to see this whole trip. Or are you? You know what, guys? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it as soon as I get over there. So, uh, yes. So then, see, like, he's gonna charge us. So, like, whatever. Here. This is why you need a lot of rupees. He says that. Give me just a few seconds, guys. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So, let's do this again without pressing the <laughs> J okay button again. Uh, no, don't die already. Jeez. Uh, I'm so scared. Okay, that's the second one, so let's go. Go, go, go. Alright. I we already pressed the button, so I'm not gonna worry about that, but let's hurry. Hurry. Yeah. Health. That's not good. We, we can still die. We do have two hearts, but we, these boulders take two health. Remember, there we go. We're good for now. There you go. There's the monster guts. Um, they help us make potions. Uh, no, not again, not again, not again, not again. There we go. Okay, we're in the safe spot. We got refilled. Okay. Everything's better now, Brent. Everything's better. Wrong way. Alright, so, what you gotta do? Knock this statue and I, I thought this was a, a break apparently you are supposed to do this because I had found no other way of doing it but besides that like I think I found out because since this is the only the first uh, type of game that makes you run like in diagonals and it makes total sense so We have to go this way. That way. Ah, why did I go down? Besides that, uh, we're almost near the end of the dungeon, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a long episode because, like I said already, it's a long dungeon. Ah, I forgot. I barely realized I did not get a shield. I could put on the shield like carry a village. I was careless. I see why. And there's my first fall. <laughs> Hey everyone, first of all, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Eh. Oh gosh. It's terrifying. There we go. Oh no, I'm sorry guys. Uh, if I moved away too much, I gotta... There we go. I don't think I moved that at much at all. I know I did move it, so I'm sorry guys for moving the camera, or my game, my handheld, my bad. That was my fault. Besides that, we're almost near the end of the dungeon, so bear with me just a few more moments and we'll be done with this dungeon. And next encounter. Or actually, I think this dungeon is pretty long, so I think I'm going ahead and make this a two part dungeon. Actually, I'm gonna make dungeons as long as I need because, like, this is these are really long dungeons. Because I think something. Oh wait, actually no, this is the small dungeon. Never mind. The, the dungeon I'm thinking about is the next dungeon that we had to go after this one. Besides like that, let's get a big key. I just hope this isn't too loud. 
not for you guys, but for the sake of my air, my family that is sleeping right now. If it is, oh my god, I hope you don't get mad whenever they wake up. I don't know why I was trying to shoot the arrow like that, because it just gone. Bam. Before we head on, there should be a gate opening. This should be open somehow. I think there's a switch on here. I, this is, I, this is, I see a treasure chest in my map, that's why. Did I get all the switches? Oh, okay, I see. That's because I took one path. There's two paths. And build a path. Uh, it's terrifying. I, I, I died. In the, uh, eh. Health. Health. Eh. Not again. I think I'm gonna make the boss a one ep one parter. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Or I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead. Second time we died. I'm sorry, guys. I guess tonight's episode is gonna end like this because I'm gonna run out of time. Like I said, I'm gonna make these 20 minutes tops. I'm not gonna make them too long. We need the arrow, so I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this too easy or too short. Why, why am I why am I waiting for this guy to finish talking? Just give me the freaking bow. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time on um let's play the Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Besides that, hope you guys have a great night. As I Pocket Gamer saying, be careful. Don't trust arrows. Don't even trust the rock. See, even Ravio's clapping because he agrees with me. Isn't that right? There we go. Alright. Good night, everybody.